Hello, my name is Saraj Deep. Welcome to the part three of the video wherein we are going to now uh, build the Ansible control system on top of the Windows 10 virtual machine where we have previously installed WSL. Right? First of all, we will update the package manager. This might take a while, so we will let it complete and we'll come back. For now, I will pause the video. As you can see here, our package manager is updated. Now the next to follow along is to, we will be using the Python peep module package manager for the rest of the module installation. So we will run the command. Yes. Since I am new to Ansible as well, so sometimes I might make some mistake. Uh, but uh, again, on the video, I'll show how I have rectified those mistakes as well. As you saw, I was using the incorrect syntax. Well installing the python peak module that is i was using a hyphen wherein technically i should not be using any so yeah after fixing it we are able to download the python now it's in progress so it should not take long You can pause the video if you would like and we can resume once the Python pip module installation is complete. Perfect. So our pip3 module is installed. Now let's proceed with installing Ansible. This might take a while for the Ansible installation to complete. Okay. So it's in progress, you can pause the video for now and we will resume once Ansible is complete to find out what version is installed. Okay, so the Ansible is installed, let's confirm the version by running the command. Version. Alright, so we have our version 2.13 running, so which is a good sign, and we have Python 3.i. We just two steps away from completing our Ansible control node. Uh, we need to run two more packages, so that uh, the first one is uh, sudo pip3 install pi winrm. Right now, PyWinRM is a client or a component which will be used to remotely manage, do remote management of Windows workstations. For example, we want to um, install IS on our Windows uh, virtual machine, right? So in that case, we'll be using PyWinRM component. Okay, let's hit enter and let it install the PyWinRM component. 
component. This should not take much time. There you go, it is installed. Now we also need to make sure what credential method are we going to use. So we will be using a more secure cred SSP. So we just have to add an additional remark on the same previous command that is for pine we pi win we are win rm in square brackets cred ssp right so hit enter okay so that is all we have completed the installation of our ansible control node now this control node can be used to manage any of the windows operating system or windows clients right so see you in the next video where we will be uh, trying to deploy a new virtual machine windows virtual machine for babli 2019 operating system and then try to do some uh, you know playbook uh, thing that is playbook testing such as converting it to a domain controller adding users etc etc so see you next time for the next video thank you very much for watching